y'all doing? Do you like my top? My honey jukes top, isn't it gorgeous? Yes, from fun.com. Absolutely lovely. I'll put the link down below. Yes, that's wonderful. Yes, yes. Um, so today, because last week I did Noble Collection and I haven't done a Noble Collection unboxing for quite some time. And so I thought, do you know what? I haven't shown my discontinued items for a while. And I don't know, obviously, um, out of you guys who have seen the video, who's seen the video and who hasn't. So I thought I'd do a fresh one. Because there's some new discontinued items, but there's also some discontinued items that are no longer discontinued. So I've just realised there's one thing I haven't got. As you guys know, I have been a collector of Harry Potter. Obviously, you've noticed something in the background as well. But there's also something else that I will be sharing. Well, I won't be sharing, but the press will be sharing soon. So you're getting the first sneak peek of what it is, all right? <laughs> so there won't be any close-ups of it because you'll be seeing it soon anyway. Um, but it's a very, very, very proud moment for me. And um, this is another reason why I wanted to do a Noble Collection video because it's something that I have been collecting Harry Potter memorabilia. Oh, uh, 23, is it 23 years? 2001 I started um, with which I know you guys know about, however, some of you don't. So this was the very first item that I actually bought. This exact book was the very first item. As you can see, it's been very much left. <laughs> and uh, it is a very, 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 very proud uh, item of mine to have in my collection, which is the celebratory Smarties edition of the Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone book. It's the first edition. However, it is in terrible condition. I actually do have a first edition, which is a mint condition, which is just down there. So, but this one for me, this was $5.99 when I bought it from Otticas, I think it was, in Telford. Um, and this book has a lot to answer for. It's literally the reason why I'm in love with Harry Potter. This is ex this, this book right here. And there's so many like dog-eared pages and, you know, just little things that kind of I did going through the book and yeah, this book is amazing. And I'm really, really, really proud that it is the reason why I love Harry Potter so much. So that's another reason why I wanted to kind of do this video because the item behind me is an incredibly poignant moment in my collecting career. So this is all about Noble Collection. And um, one of the items that I am absolutely obsessed with regarding Noble Collection is the Noble Collection catalogues. Now, I don't think this is all of them. Oh, it might be actually, but I have got like so many Noble Collection catalogues through the years. And no, this isn't all of them. There is a couple of very, very, very large ones actually. I'm not sure where they are. One of the very first catalogues that Noble ever, ever released is actually down there somewhere, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to get to it. This is the best way for you to see the items that Noble Collection have released. They release a catalog every year, normally around holiday season, you know, which is Christmas. And uh, I think the newest one I've got here, the oldest one I think is 98. Um, and the newest one, is it this one? What's this one? There's no date on this one. That's interesting. So Noble Collection actually started off uh, creating items for like desks and stuff like little letter, op letter openers or um, hourglasses or you know um, ancient ancient sextants and all that sort of thing so they really did do a very kind of elite collectible item that was for like you know cigar cutters and things like that it was more kind of expensive and for more kind of you know I don't know how, how would you pr how would you explain it for like the the, the more kind of you know posh people who had nice desks i think that's probably the easiest way of describing it posh people who had nice desks there we are that'll do um and then they went into film merchandise they started off with oh my god i can't even remember now i want to say something like out is outlander one of them there was things that they produced they, they did things from like iconic films like conan the barbarian did they do a sword i can't remember without looking through all these so let's see what we've got. Hang on. That's 2007. That's Harry Potter stuff. That's 2008. That's 2010. Right. No, the one I do have is one of the very, very, very first ones. And they did have things like ornaments of tawny owls or snowy owls, but they weren't Hedwig. 
Um, so I think it was just things that they did and then they went obviously into filming franchise and they did like um, more poignant items. They did like Lord of the Rings and all that sort of thing. Um, and then obviously they started focusing on Harry Potter and Harry Potter I feel like it became the winner for them. I mean I don't know for definite but I'm feeling like that is the case that it became the winner. And so they were creating items like Hermione's beaded bag or the time turner or you know the, the love potion uh, bottles and all sorts of things, wands but they weren't massively, they weren't collected, they weren't like producing loads of wands. They had wands but they weren't massively kind of released if you know what I mean. So um, they did do them just not massively, massively. Um, so I wanted to talk to you about the discontinued items that I have and one of the reasons why I knew they were discontinued is because I collected the catalogues and that's why I love them. I've done I've done quite a few videos on these um, because I they don't have any monetary value at all um, but they are amazing to collect because they're like little they're like little reminders of what oh okay the, oh I didn't realize that was around and oh I didn't realize that they sold that and you know so I love things like this so of course you've got like you know the dragons down here from the Triwizard Tournament and the Goblet of Fire which um, they, they they do produce they have produced a new one now but this one was made of pewter they've produced things like um, Dumbledore's wand and Harry Potter's wand in bronze which weighs a freaking ton okay I actually got the pleasure because I've obviously done a couple of unboxings in the Noble Collection store I've been lucky enough to and um, I was very lucky enough to be able to use the bronze Dumbledore's wand in the opening of my of my intro you know so I was allowed to do that and I was allowed to kind of show you the um, the vertebrae candle and, and things like that so they took them out of the cabinet for me and, and I was allowed to touch them and show them to you and so I've been really really lucky when it comes to Noble I've been very very blessed when it comes to them and then you've got things like the proclamation board here which is no longer available and um, I know Sandy has that and I so want it um, but obviously we've got the uh, mannequin as well which is no longer available so this is why oh yes one of the items one of my friends have just bought is the uh, Luna Lovegood set which is displayed in Noble Collection. So it's really, really cool that they actually managed to find one and they've put it on display. I mean, oh my God, has anybody ever seen this? Really? Really? I haven't, have you? Have you got it? Can you please tell me if you have? Because I'd love to know about it. They've got a Voldemort one there as well. I mean, oh my God, they produce the most stunning items. The vertebrae candle which is like for me will be my holy grail of items okay so this is what i wanted to show you i wanted to do a video then of my own noble collection items <sighs> so it's, it's really exciting because noble collection i don't know how many times i've said noble collection but if i have a pound for every time i've said it i'll be worth a fortune and um, but, but noble collection have always been incredible at producing their items they either have incredibly detailed images of the prop or they have the prop themselves and they then create a prop replica for that item the latest discontinued item that i actually have are these earrings now they're not expensive they're not expensive at all they were like 20 30 pound so these are like time turn earrings here and they are discontinued i have worn them in the past i don't know if i can how can i show you these nicely there we are let's try it like that so these are the time turn earrings they have not long been discontinued so that is, they are absolutely beautiful. However, they're like a tin. They're not expensive. They're a costume jewellery. And I think I paid, I paid full price for them because I bought them on their website because they, they're still available as far as I'm aware. They might not be available anymore. I don't know. But I will tell you one thing, a secret between you and me, okay? The best place at the minute to look for discontinued items, I'm trying to put this in here so that it keeps them safe, is vinted. In the UK, it's vinted. I managed to find, and I really don't know how. I was looking for Noble Collection, so I shouldn't be telling you this, because this is like one of my secrets. I was looking for Noble Collection items, and I put Noble Collection in, and this necklace turned up on, and I, I think I've shown pictures of it. I haven't got it here, it's upstairs. But this, this necklace, this golden snitch necklace turned up, and it was like, £20. And I looked at it thinking, 
Now I'm pretty sure they haven't done a golden snitch necklace costume version which is where they do produce uh, cheaper versions of the items that they have so you've got um they you can get a dumbledore's um blood pack you can get that necklace uh, as a costume piece you can get arwen's uh necklace uh, is a costume version you can get um what else can you get you can get things like i don't know the lord of the rings ring as a costume version you can get quite a few little things that are more costume version rather than you buying hermione's uh yule ball necklace you can get a costume version of that as well as the full cost, the, the, the obviously the sterling silver version. So I thought, okay, it's only 20 quid. I'm going to get it. I don't think they ever did do a costume version of that necklace. However, I'm going to get it anyway because I couldn't find anything. It was kept inside its bag when the photographs were taken. So there was no kind of guarantee that this necklace was the real article, but it was genuine noble collection apparently. It came with all its packaging. And so when it arrived, I looked at the back of it and it was 925 sterling silver for 20 quid. It's 144 pound on Noble Collection. Well, I almost died. I did. Sometimes you can be incredibly lucky. And that I felt so kind of blessed for because they, they did list it as silver. They listed it as silver. They listed it how exactly it should be silver, but it was down for 20 pounds. So I thought, okay, maybe they just want to get rid of it quickly couldn't believe it so vintage in the UK is where you need to go okay it is brilliant I shouldn't be telling any of you this because it's giving my secrets away god damn it uh, right okay so so this is an item that's not massively in demand however it is a discontinued item so I'm just wanting you to see these so you can kind of get a sense of when you look online if you think something is discontinued or not now generally the best way to go about it is look on the websites if it's not on the website it means it's been discontinued so if it's on the website that says out of stock that's not discontinued it's not the same thing it means that it just they're just waiting for new stock so make sure that when you look if it's not on the website on the UK or the US then that means it's been discontinued okay I will discuss other items with you that once were discontinued and now back in stock so I will be mentioning those so this item is the Newt Scamander notebook from Fantastic Beasts and where to find them this item is a beautiful notebook that Noble Collection released around the time after the uh, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. This came out between that and between, it was Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them and uh, The Crimes of Grendelwald. So it was between those films that it was released. It's a really, really beautiful item, but it is discontinued now. So if you can keep hold of the packaging, if you can keep hold of the packaging, then please do. It's vital you keep it if you want to kind of keep the value of the item after it's been discontinued because guaranteed those items eventually will be discontinued we just don't know when now part of me wonders is that because um it does make things more kind of valuable i mean remember noble collection were have been around for a long time creating elite items about this that and the other so i've just realized that my um my Darth Maul is on the floor. <laughs> He's fallen down off his stand. Oops, sorry Darth Maul, I'll put you back in a minute. Uh, so I'm just looking thinking, there's meant to be a Darth Maul on that stand. Oh yeah, right, he's there. Anyway, so the good thing about Noble Collection is that even though people get cross that these items get discontinued, it means the value of them will go up. Now, for those items that have been discontinued and have come back into stock, this is a little kind of not sure about this one well i kind of know um as i said i've been doing this for 23 years and with items that are sold then discontinued and then they bring them back there's always something different about them even if it's a tiny little difference there is always a difference now if you look at the harry potter glasses that were sold i don't have the original ones unfortunately um, but the original glasses that were sold, very small frames from the Philosopher's Stone, can go for, was it between seven, eight hundred pounds now? They did re-release the glasses recently, however, the box was cardboard. 
and the glasses felt incredibly flimsy and just not very good quality at all and I mean at all a lot of people weren't happy with them but that just means that the original glasses will go up in value with the release of that item now for items like Dumbledore's knife for example which was discontinued for a while and now is back available again the original item will be worth slightly more even though there isn't any difference really with the release of the new of the of the sorry the re-release of the dagger the only difference will be the date on the back it'll be spring summer so it'll be s and then the year so it'll be um 17 18 19 or 24 on the back of that box and that will be you know more of an updated version will be less valuable than one that was quite a few years back so then you've got things like the Bubble Boy and the Puking Pastels Girl Bookends. Now they have been re-released at a very, 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 very much a high price compared to what they were before. I think they were what, 55, 60 pound originally? And now are they valuing at like 160 pound resale? Because they've re-released them. But apparently according to Noble Collection, and we do know the cost of inflation has risen massively that the original were obviously a lot cheaper to produce the new ones even though they've re-released them are much higher in value or higher cost because the items or the the, the uh, material that they use to make the bookends has gone up significantly unfortunately so they are a much higher price now regarding the value of those i don't think there is much difference in the value of the original ones to the ones now I've never actually looked to be honest i've never actually seen reselling or people saying original or discontinued version or nothing like that so i don't actually know roughly how much that would be i don't think it's much at all so there are quite a few items that noble collection have discontinued and then a few items that they have re-released now there are a couple that i really hope they bring back like the vertebrae candle i absolutely would kill for that to come back because i absolutely a hundred percent want that candle it is amazing it's not a real candle obviously it is made of resin and it's not real raw iron even though it looks like raw iron um, unfortunately it's not but it just looks outstanding so I actually got sent this by Noble Collection, um, oh my god, it was around the time obviously Crimes of Grindelwald came out and for those of you who don't remember the toffee apple, it was when they were at the carnival in Paris, which is actually one of the scenes I was meant to film but I had to, I couldn't do it because they wanted to chop all my hair off. Now I think back and I think damn I should have done it but there was no guarantee I'd even be seen on screen. So this is obviously the carnival apple that you see in the background. Um, of it's a very very quick shot it's like a truck or like a side like little kind of I don't know like a truck and like a cart or something a, like a sweet cart and it's got a load of these on the cart but this is actually an apple pen so how cool is that I've never used it um, I absolutely love this I think the pro promo photo of me is like that <laughs> so I think that's really cool but I love this item even though it's only very quickly seen I was really chuffed to get hold of this but they did sell them and discontinue them rather quickly they weren't sold for very long but obviously underneath you've got all the details here noble collection wizarding world etc etc so it is really really fun item to own and it's very very heavy now I'm not really that fussed on these camera cases or camera cases phone cases however it is another discontinued item so i did order it when they announced that they were discontinuing them so I, I don't even know how much it was 25 pound maybe and i love the fact that you've got that metal kind of crest there on the back of the phone which is really really beautiful but it, i i like a pop socket and that's not a pop socket i like to be able to have my phone quite secure because my phone's huge but that there is another item that they discontinued it was like a few years ago now i think what's the date of this so this is spring or summer 2016 so this was a good while ago now so there we are there's the case inside so I did buy one because I wanted to have the discontinued item in my on my shelves. So I'm glad I got that. I've had quite a few 
people recently asking me about these. I was really lucky because I got hold of my contact at Noble Collection and they were really, really lovely. They had one of these already in stock and it was the last one. And so they kept it for me. So there was a few items created by for Madame Malkin's Robes for All Occasions, obviously you can find on Diag in Diagon Alley. And they produced scarves and ties. So I asked if I could possibly have the Ravenclaw tie. So as you can see on the front there, it says Madame Malkin's Robes for All Occasions. And then inside, I've never taken it out, but inside you have a Ravenclaw tie. All nicely tucked away in the material there and tied with, tied with a bow. So I couldn't wait to get that. So they very kindly kept that back for me. So that's another discontinued item that I have. I, would, I don't think I would ever kind of deliberately go and look for a, no, a Noble Collection discontinued item just because the name Noble Collection discontinued gives it such a high price. And I'm not made of money, you know, I'd love to say I was, but I'm not made of money. However, there is one item that did come back in stock, even though it is still discontinued. So I was incredibly lucky. A few years ago, I was the first YouTuber to ever be granted permission to actually do an unboxing in the Noble Collection store itself. Um, I'm sure any other YouTuber, if you ask kindly, I'm sure they will um, obviously have a chat with you about it. But I was just very, very lucky. I asked, I didn't know whether they were gonna say yes, but they did. And this was what I, down, what I downloaded, what the hell? This is what. <laughs> I unboxed. Now, I was really lucky because I heard, I don't even know who it was who told me, but someone said to me, Noble Collection have a number of Mad Eye Moody stuffs back in stock, right? And I messaged them and I said, please, 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 can you put one aside for me? Because I would love to do it as an unboxing. Now, they did have, they had like six at a time and they did quite a few, like, or, like, um, packages of them so you know they had quite a few delivered and this was one of the first to arrive um so i was really really lucky to get it and it was really stupid because it was around covid yeah everything just started to open gradually and uh, obviously everyone was having to wear masks the um, the whole kind of two meter thing was a big thing social distancing and all that and me and janice i think maria already had one <laughs> Me and Janice were carrying these bloody things in their boxes because believe me, right, there's no support rods going through these. You drop this on the floor, it would smash, okay? It's solid resin and it weighs an absolute ton. But we were literally carrying them in these boxes. The boxes were bigger. The boxes were like up here and they were about this thick. So this, this wide and then about this thick. And it was literally going through central London on the tube and through places like i can't even think what it's called now going through central london with these yeah in their boxes it was absolutely insane but my god was it worth it it was so so much fun and i absolutely love being able to actually have one and being the first person to do an unboxing from the noble collection store as well i felt so amazing that day so I have been incredibly lucky when it comes to Noble Collection. I have been, I've been so blessed in so many ways. And in one of the ways I was given, um, I won't obviously say who, but I was given um, a very discontinued watch by Noble Collection. It is the Time Turner watch. Now these can go between 150 to 200 pound, but again, I'm not 100% sure about that. That might be the asking price. And let me tell you, the asking price is very different to the actual price, okay? So the value of an item. Never go for the for the value of the item that somebody's asking for an item, because that could very well be very inflated. Always go or have a look to see what they sold for. That is the value price. I hope I'm making sense in this video. Right, so this was spring or summer of 2012. So this is this is 12 years old. This watch is 12 years old. How crazy is that? So all these items live in my on my discontinued shelves. Now here's an item that people go crazy for. And I, do you know what? I only bought it years ago from my friends at Moving Image. Um, sadly, the shop no longer exists, but I only bought it from my friends at Moving Image because it just looked a bit different. 
but no matter what I did with it, no matter where I put it, it still looked out of place. I could never find anywhere to put it. It was a really odd item. But this is the item here. It is a Noble Collection Death Eater Mannequin from Order of the Phoenix. Now these go for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pounds. It can be between eight and nine hundred pounds. I know this is a lot of item, lot of um, one of the items that people would really, really love in their collection of a discontinued item. So I am really lucky. I think he only, I only sold, he only sold for like thirty-five pound. He wasn't expensive. <laughs> But I bought him because he just looked quite funky. And whenever I saw my friends at Moving Image, I always felt like, um, is it Moving Image or Moving Picture? Uh, every time I, I, I went to see them, I always felt obligated to buy something from them. Don't get me wrong, I was always glad to, because it was always amazing, amazing items. But um, this was one of the items that I was like, yeah, go on then. I don't know if I want it, but yeah, go on then. I just didn't know, I didn't know whether I wanted him. But it turned out to be one of the ones items that people would really really want to own and I just didn't realize you know it was this was a long time before he became they became discontinued that I bought this so it's a bit crazy really and this is dated spring or summer of 2007 wow so I think this item is definitely one of the items that people say they want in their collection do you want to come in I could have sworn a soaker was out the door then. Anyway, so yeah, so this item is one of the items that people say what they want the most in their collection. Now, I was really, really lucky. I managed to find this ridiculously cheap on Facebook market and they knew exactly what they had. They were more than happy just to get rid of it because they just wanted to make room. So I was really, really lucky. <laughs> I should not get away with it that easy. You come in my room, then you have to say hi, okay? little monkey so yeah i was really really lucky this this item was in mint condition still in its packaging it still had the beaded bag it was very much in inside the plastic and the beaded bag was in here so at the moment it's stuffed with a tea towel to make it bigger <laughs> but it is the original hermione granger beaded bag so it is absolutely sensational this is so stunning. And they've produced a few different beaded bags. Obviously, different companies have. Uh, Mattel did one long, long, long time ago, which I bought my daughter, which is upstairs in the attic somewhere. You've had Litjoy create one. I think you've had Cauldron Creative created one. I'm not sure if Wizard in Trunk have. But this one is the original beaded bag. And it is absolutely stunning. So I'm really lucky to have this in my collection. Very, very lucky indeed. And uh, it is an item that I am very proud to display in my cabinets, but it is hidden from all my discontinued items, are hidden from direct sunlight because everything in your collection needs to be hidden from direct sunlight because otherwise you could basically say goodbye to the value. So now I have the last item to share with you and it is absolutely, excuse the noise, the soaker's having a lovely wander around and it is absolutely beautiful. And I have never, ever, ever been able to find another one of these. My friend who owns the, is it Moving Image or Moving Picture, Sam? I'm so sorry, I can't remember what it was called. It's been so long. But my friend that owned the shop, Moving Pictures, I think it was, um, she remembers selling them, but they didn't sell very well. There was, they, they, she remembers them coming out, but they didn't sell very well. And so she says she wished she kept one for herself but I have never ever been able to find another one of these. And believe me, I have looked. I keep looking to this day because I know that I've got friends out there, collectors and friends alike who would kill for this item. And I have never, ever, ever seen another one sold anywhere. They must be somewhere, they must be somewhere. This is, this was released, this was released in spring or summer of 04. <laughs> This is 20 years old, almost as old as me collecting Harry Potter memorabilia. So this item is my favorite Noble Collection item. So, sorry, I'm being interrupted by my cat. <laughs> so this was released in 2004 by Noble Collection. It is a Knut, in solid silver Knut in silver. It is it weighs so much this necklace it's absolutely ridiculous i think they were sold for about 60 70 pound i think sam said so they are absolutely stunning
stunning, but I have never, ever, ever seen another one. And this, for me, is an amazing item. Now, I had this in my basket on eBay for a long time. And it was there, and I wasn't sure if I was going to buy. It was £120, and it was a, that was a lot of money. It still is a lot of money, but it was a lot of money for me. And I kept looking at it, and I never saw anything any, anywhere else. So it's very, very rare that I saw anything else. Eventually, I gave in, and I bought it. And it wasn't until after I showed it that people were then telling me that they'd never seen one before, they didn't know that they did them, and they've never seen one since. So I paid 120 for this. I could probably get well over a thousand pound for this now. I feel, anyway. I feel like if I was to sell this on eBay, which will never happen unless I'm going to lose my house, okay? I will never, ever, ever sell it. But if I did sell it, it would probably go for over a thousand pound today. So just because of its rarity, and I mean it's incredible rarity, it's like people, they were sold, but people didn't realise that they were for sale. Or they weren't as iconic as the Time Turner necklace at the time, you know. So maybe people chose to, instead of spending that £60 on this necklace, they decided to buy the Time Turner instead, which I think is about 55 So I'm going to have a look in my catalogue and see if I can find this. I've only worn it a handful of times because it is so heavy. It is a little bit weighted. So if it's spring or summer of 2004, let's have a look. My friend Sandy, bless her. She's got a lot of the Noble Collection catalogues as well because she collects them too. And she, bless her, she scanned them for me and sent me them in the post, which I thought was so helpful and so generous. Now, this item here, okay, as you can see there, that's another Noble Collection discontinued item I actually have. However, mine was with a magazine. Now, a lot of people were unsure if that was a genuine Noble Collection item because it came with a magazine. It was down as a different name. Now, I have contacted and spoken to Noble Collection directly about this, and yes, they did produce it for the magazine, so it is a Noble Collection item, which is slightly different from the one they sold in shop. So that's the necklace I bought for £20 on um, on Vinted, this golden snitch necklace here. I've only worn it a couple of times because it is very, very heavy. It's a lot more expensive now. I've also got that chessboard. I love that chessboard. It's just there. It's really pretty. Okay, so, oh, there it is. £65. It's not a very good picture. However, it is there. As you can see, the necklace. So I actually have that. It's £65 there. But how beautiful is that? So I'm really, really proud that I have it because it is a stunning piece. Let's see if I can find it anywhere else. All right, so this is 2005. Let's have a look to see if it's in here. If it's not in here, then that means it's very possible. No, it isn't here. Oh, of course, yes. I forgot about this. Right, so the necklace, the golden, the golden snitch, the uh, Canut necklace actually was a set. So I've never seen, well, I've never seen another one of these necklaces, so I'm just certainly not gonna see one of these. So there's the necklace, just there. And with it came a silver money clip. So it was an actual set. I've never, ever, ever seen that money clip. I would love to find one. The money clip was £75 and the necklace was £65. So this was released in 2005, this comic, this comic, this catalogue. And that there was such a lovely item to see, to see that it was a collection. So one day, you never know, I may, may very well find the missing money clip. But it is beautiful. So it says what um, it says uh, crafted in sterling silver, set with a copper plated knut from the Gringotts Bank. Gringotts Bank pendant and money clip. So they obviously were sold separately. So that is my discontinued noble collection items. Um, let me know in the comments below what was your favourite. My favourite will always be first of all the necklace and second of all the Hermione beaded bag because I always wanted that it is beautiful but uh, I also want to say thank you to Noble who have been incredible with me all throughout the years and I remain to have such a fantastic relationship with them and I will be visiting them again this weekend so they won't be able to get rid of me that quickly anyway guys I love you all take care keep an eye out for my uh, little items over here that will be announced in the press soon I love you all speak to you soon stay magical and I will see you next week with a magical locations video okay love you guys
Want to check out more of my content? Take a look at this video right here or this video right here. Don't forget to like and subscribe.